the industry and how you feel is affected um, what you either provide or what you want, um, or, or possibility. I know that um, Ted Sarango said that maybe in a couple years it could be something. Thank you. Um, I think that, I mean, I have to answer that first, Kate, but um, I, I, I don't think that it really has had a big impact. I don't think for it, it's actually swaying the way that we're operating and the way that we are um, looking to do our jobs on a daily basis. Um, I do really think what we're here to do is tell great stories and work with people who excite us and inspire us. And I think, um, yeah, there's there's always there's always something, um, but I think that that is truly the North Star and the focus for us. I mean, I, I'd jump in and say, and, and this is maybe a little tangential to your, the creative question. You think about Fast TV, you're really asking, well, okay, the advent or growth of, a, of ad support models. And it's really, you were talking about it as a shift or, or a growth in one way of monetizing, to, to your point, monetizing great storytelling. It doesn't necessarily, or to date, it hasn't necessarily changed the pressure, the importance, or the appeal of you know, different types of storytelling. But it is an, a an avenue for, for the ecosystem, for the industry, to monetize great stories. And it, it does represent, in some ways, I'll use a bad word, windows. Like, it does represent, in some ways, it, you know, for some content, the return of, of, of slicing of windows in a way that existed in kind of years past and now is maybe resurging in you know, some quadrants, although certainly some con some premium content will be locked up forever in a non ad supported way. And before I open up the questions, what's the, um, maybe one of the more exciting things that you see on the horizon that maybe we're not talking about? <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it's something you're more most excited about for 2023 that people that people aren't paying enough attention to. Oh, don't, don't. <laughs> I know, there's, there's a lot of things and I don't wanna keep hyping some of the shows that I am genuinely excited about, but I do think it's going to be a big year. Um, look, I, I know I'm known for a lot of the more female skewing content. I think what I'm excited about, yes, me too, all day long. I mean, but I also, you know, there's a lot in terms of um, that's coming up that feels like on the other end of that, um, very masculine, you know, very muscular that I'm really excited about. Um, you know, we have a show with Arnold Schwarzenegger, which like made me cool in the eyes of my dad for the first time. <laughs> and I'm really excited about that. And it's just, you know, the return of him and something that we'll watch together. And I'm really proud of that. But I do think you're going to see this, what I'm calling sort of muscular content that's coming that feels a little different from maybe some of what um, we've been doing. Um, recently in terms of some of our launches. I'll speak just as a consumer too, or I just love surprises, you know? I want I want somebody to tell me a story in a new way. Um, one, of the, one of the shows I've been binging that I never thought this would be the show for me is Yellowstone. And, you know, I just like seeing a world through, you know, a world I don't know, but I'm curious about, you know, and, and that sort of bold and this is who we are and this is our story authentically. I mean, it, it, again, it just speaks to, I just, I love authenticity, you know, and I love characters who are unapologetic about who they are. Um, so yeah, for me, it's just, I'm just excited to see more surprising programming. Right. One thing that I'm excited about that we're doing a participant because we do do documentaries, narrative film, and series is sort of projects that bridge both. So we might be developing a scripted feature about